Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God, I look so much better on TikTok. <laughs> Hi, hey, everyone. YouTube. Happy Monday. Happy day with Santa. Oh my God, I've got so many tabs open. Santa, let me just close some. Hey, Christina. Hey, Jade. Wow, Christina, one of the first ones in. Look at you go. Ooh. Hi, everyone. Hey, Alicia, how are you going? Hey, Jen. Woohoo! Welcome in, everyone. Hey, Nadia, what's up? Kira says, I, ha I love the bond you have. I love it too. I, uh... We're very lucky. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Demi says, hey, ladies. Hey, Demi, Hello. how are you? Jen says, how are you? We have had a fantastic day, actually. Really, really good day. Uh, I would love to celebrate something, but I'll wait till more people are in before I say it. Oh, You'll see. Oh, my God. Demi says, I'm very sick. Oh, no. I'm sending you some love and healing. I hope you're okay. Anna says, hello. Hi, Anna. Hi, Nadia. Hey, Lee. How are you guys? How was Fed Square? Oh my God, it was so good. So many of you guys came. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, was it made really... the night so good. Yeah, it was really nice to see everyone, to be honest. And the music was good. It was vibey. Yes, the music was great. We're going to post a video about it tonight. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled. I'm in the room. <laughs> Larissa, hello. You got this, Larissa. Heather says, saw you guys at Fed Square. Oh, did you, were you one of the people who came up and said hello? There are a couple of people who messaged us recently and were like, I saw you, but I was too scared to come oh. up. Hey, Lee. Leslie, your hair looks beautiful, Anna says. Oh, thank you, Anna. I washed and straightened it. I washed, blow dried and straightened it today. So she's looking nice. great. Larissa says, oh, Heather says, we took photos. Let me open your account, Heather. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. Hello. Hey, Heather. <laughs> Fed Square was so good. Yes, Larissa, we had such a good time as well. It was so nice. It was. I love your hair, Taz, says oh, Amelia. Thank you. It Yay. does need a wash. It does need a wash, desperately. Guys, I'm hey, excited Olivia. to post the Fed Square video tonight. We put some people in it. So, you know, if we got a photo or a video with you guys, keep your eyes peeled. Beck says, hi, can I just say this time fits so much better with my TV viewing. You know what? We're try we're gonna be trialing some earlier times. Mm. Why not? Yep. Because I feel like we always eat so late. We eat so late. Guys, we're gonna have be having pasta today. Mum cooked most of it, so we just have to do the pasta and yeah. the garlic bread, and then we can eat. So it's nothing crazy tonight. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's like my favorite pasta. If you're new in, make sure you're tapping the screen, guys. Tap the screen, hit the follow button. Tap, tap, tap. Tilly's here. Hey, Tilly. Hello. Bridget's here. Hi, Taz and Hi. Hi, Bridget. Hey, Charlie. Oh, Olivia says, what's the surprise? So it's not really a surprise for you. It's just something that I want to celebrate. Um, but today is the first day that Taz and I are working with our virtual assistant full time now. Yes. So True. we've got her from Monday through to Friday. Wow. Um, her name's Jen. She's fantastic. We're really excited to be working with her full time now. And I just thought, like, that's why my day was so great. I feel like it was True. good to, like, jump into the new year. And, yeah, so we're really excited about it. I don't know if you guys will care, but I just want to celebrate it. <laughs> we will cheers to it with our orange juices tonight. <laughs> Should we have it in champagne glasses? <laughs> true <laughs> yeah that is super exciting alicia says yay that's so great yeah she's the best we love working with her i feel like she allows us to do more of the content creating because mm. she's doing the stuff that would have us sitting on the computer all day mm. day in day out so by her helping us it allows us to do more streams more content and like take things to another level you know so yeah. we're very excited what we have in store for this year for mm. you guys uh, we got our work cut out for us, but we're ready. Larissa says we're already planning our day for the next Fed Square event. Oh. Cannot wait. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Yay. I think you guys will really like the next headliner. Yes. Uh, Vera Blue. I think you'll really vibe. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it's like 
it's that pop, but it's the pop that you like. Yeah, I love it. I'm keen. It's going to be on the 18th of February. We're going to be at all three, guys. So whether you can come to the next one or the one after that, come up and say hello. Even if you're interstate usually, but you're traveling to Melbourne during that time, it's mm. a really fun thing you can do. It's free. So Tilly says, can't wait to come to the next one. Going to listen oh. to her music beforehand. Oh, Tilly, yay! So Guys, I'm so excited when I hear you say that. And then the last one is on a Friday, so I have to get the day off. Oh, oh don't worry about getting the day <laughs> off. You're funny. It's an excuse to take the day off. 140 well, people, guys. Make sure you're tapping the screen. Welcome in. The last headliner sings uh, Astronaut in the Ocean. Da, 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 deep. <laughs> it's the one, the TikTok song. You guys know it, right? That was a good enough karaoke. <laughs> Lou says, no, no, Beck really wants to go to that one. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yo, oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> Woohoo. All right, guys, so we're going to be making pasta. The water's boiling. Okay, I'll put something. Oh, damn, yes. All right, guys, if you had a good day, put a green heart in the chat. If you had an okay day, put a yellow heart in the chat. And if you didn't have a very good day, put a red heart in the chat. Oh, Anna says, oh, yay, I'll def be coming to one. Yay, oh, Anna! Hell yeah, Anna. Woohoo! Make sure the roof comes through, please. Oh, the song's called Astronaut in the Ocean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we've got a lot of yellow hearts. All right, yep. Yeah. Also, you can't tell me no and then tell me they sing that song. What on earth? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I have a feeling the last one's going to be very busy. I mean, the first one was busy. I have a, I'm assuming the next one will be super busy as well. Okay, good. We've got some green hearts going on. Alicia says school went back in Queensland today. Woohoo. Oh, that's great. Has school gone back anywhere else, guys? Oh, thank you for the sunglasses. Wow. Jared says, hey, girls. Hey, Jared. How are you? Hey, Jared. Heather says, are you guys posting the video from Fred Square tonight? Yes, we are. So it's going to be up after we finish this live stream. So we'll pretty much post it as soon as we get off. Not for Perth, not for Melbourne. Okay, cool. So we're going to wait a little bit longer. That's fine. Guys, what did you get up to on the weekend? Chuck it in the chat. Fill us in. Guys, we listened to you. We did a Sunday reset. Oh, my God, it was the oh, best. Game changer. We actually had a whole day off. Can you believe it? We woke up in the morning and just started cleaning upstairs because we didn't put our washing away all week and we just haven't vacuumed in a while, needed the bed sheets changed, all a bunch of stuff. So we just did that all in the morning while we listened to, like, some nice slow music. It was a really nice way to start the day. And then we went out for lunch and saw my dad. And then we drove on the way home, drove to my nan's, popped in at nan's, so we got to catch up with her. And then we literally like came home, cooked a beautiful meal, and then watched a movie and cheesecake. That sounds lit. Dream day. Dream day. Dream day. Right there. Someone says, I went to Brisbane on the weekend. That's awesome. Ooh, what did you wow. do there? What were you in Brisbane? Guys, what did you do on the weekend? I just told you in detail what we did. The only thing I didn't tell you was what I got for lunch, which was a chicken, well, not a real chicken, a vegan chicken schnitzel in a toasty. Scroll. My day's been great, been sitting in bed, chilling with my merch. Let's go, Lily. Jen says nothing really, just a relaxing one, birthday stuff. We were up at 2 a.m. Saturday night because I was convinced there was someone in the house. Someone says I went on a cruise. Oh, my gosh. Has I have the same hat? Twins. Went to a festival on Saturday night. Then on Sunday, Beck, Larissa, I went mini gold. Oh, fun. What's, what's plus foo? Tilly slept talked. <laughs> I saw Georgia Productions. Oh, was that oh, at her um, yeah, events? Yeah, they were in Melbourne recently. At the um, live 
podcast tour or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't, maybe it wasn't a live podcast. Uh, it was. Oh, it is? Cool. Yeah, it is. That's such a great idea. That, um, they're touring. Hey, Farouk. How are you going? Oh, my gosh. We're going to set the timer. Hello, Tazala. Say hey, Farouk. How are you? My uncle and Farouk went to Time Zone on the weekend. Nice. Oh, love that. Tazzy, you're going to DJ Thursday. What's Thursday? I don't think so. Wait. What's 25th, 26th, 27th. Now I'm concerned. Oh, 29th. That's the next. Is that? No, the it's a Sunday, event. isn't it? The next gaming event is yeah. on the 29th. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I thought it was on a Sunday. No? That gaming event. No. Oh. It's in the calendar. Did right you guys now. know Kanye West is in Melbourne? I actually saw that come up. Kanye West is in Are Melbourne. Are you sure, Bob? The 29th is a Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, you're right. <laughs> nah, no DJing. Um, I, I was meant to play at a festival, but they had to cancel the entire stage just because it was too close to the other stage. Mm. So the sound would clash. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to get to DJ now. I vacuumed a moth today, did a huge cleanup, got rid of some junk. That's so great. Good on you. Bex says Sunday, this 29th. Hell yes. I did an escape room. Oh, I've never done an escape room. We should book one and do a date night. Oh, no, you can't film in it. Yep, that's right. Okay. You can't. Can we just do a date night at a me and you? Yeah. yeah. But you should go with people because me and you in an escape room, we're not gonna get out. It would be funny. I just want it to be us. I don't know if we have the ability to succeed. Why? <laughs> because you need like someone that's good at maths. I'm oh, good at maths. Good at maths. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but I am. You girls are the cutest. Oh, my God. Oh, Lily, thank you. This is Beck and I are great at escape rooms. Oh, I did do you have any recommendations? I've done a lot of them. We'd have to find one that I haven't done. Mm. Well, there's one in. Um, they usually change them, though. I mean, I haven't been in Hawthorne in like three, four years, but um, there was one in Hawthorne when I used to live there. I never went, but it could be good. You never know. Yeah. Hey, Leslie and Taz, hello, welcome in. How are you? I think they've got a good one in North Melbourne. Phoebe says there are heaps in St Kilda that are great. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll just have to look it up. Hey, Lawrence, how are you? Jared says, Leslie, good at maths? No way. I am. I'm good at doing basic maths in my head quickly. If you ask me how to find X, no, it's not going to happen. But I algebra. No, not algebra. Yeah, but who uses algebra on a daily basis? Oh, no one. <laughs> Is there actually someone in the chat right now that uses algebra mm. in their job? What do you do? Interview got pushed to tomorrow. More practice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's good. Tilly says, not me. Willow, hello. Hey, Willow. Yeah, because I'm 15. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's cool. <laughs> Alicia, stop buying your nails. Thank you. Sorry. I keep biting them, guys. They're actually starting to grow a little bit. Are you guys going live next Monday? Yes, we go live every Monday and we cook dinner with you guys. So, so make sure you hit the follow button, team. Oh, I oh. tagged you in a video that I made on Saturday when I met you guys. Oh, no way. Okay, we'll have to check yeah. it out. Hold on. Let me screen this call, uh, screenshot so we have your username I'll that's awesome that. i'm excited to oh see i it. didn't th see anything people have been tagging us in videos more ri like this weekend a lot but it they've just been random videos someone tagged us in a video um filming a chip packet and bless them they were like oh i'm recommending this to taz and alessia so we'll who knows guys chips. we're gonna have to try the chips if you guys have any recommendations i guess make a video and tag us people tag me and vegan recipe stuff Oh, really? Yeah. And they're good. That's cool. Beck, um, a couple of the teammates uh, yeah, tagged me in, like, cl uh, clay stuff. Oh, you guys always or looking out for us. Or um, there's some other things, but, yeah. 
saw Kanye concert ages ago when it was the Glow in the Dark tour in Melbourne. Oh, he's not performing now, is he? He's just How cute. Alessia, I hope this is weird, but I've named my baby after you. Oh, that is really beautiful. <laughs> that is so sweet. The name Alessia, I mean, it's, I think it's really beautiful. It I is. love it. It is. And I love having the name as well. So I'm sure your child's going to love growing up with such a cool name. It is a cool name. I don't know if I'm biased, but I love it. It's great. Taz can ask you a question. Go for it. That is really sweet. That is really sweet. Karina says, are you guys on Snapchat? We are on Snapchat. Yes. Um, we pretty much just repost our content on there. So if you're wanting Snapchat for new content, you probably won't get it. But we are on there if you just want to follow us there anyways. Mm -hmm. It's actually our second biggest platform. Yeah, we've got like 115,000 subs, yeah. which is wild. We should jump on Snap Stories more often. I know, but guys, put a yellow heart in the chat if you use Snapchat to watch Spotlight specifically. I think most people would use it to talk to their friends, but then mm. it's there. For... Jelani followed the host. Thank you. I don't know if I pronounced that name right. Oh, she's almost ready. <laughs> I don't have Snapchat anymore because I'm old. <laughs> What's your Snap username? Taz Alessia dash Snap. <laughs> if you click the link in our bio, the little icon is up the top. I think he's there. here because he married some girl from Melbourne. That's right. He did too. He married someone. Yeah, he's married a girl that lives from Melbourne. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? That, it's been it's been like a month or so, or maybe a little bit longer. They're married. I don't know if they're – no, they're not – they didn't certificate marriage, but they're, they're married. Sophie followed the host. Thank you, Sophie. Javelle followed the host. Thank you. I'm stressed hearing that. I know. He's with an employee of his, as in like. Oh, God. Oh. I'll need to do some research on this once we get off the line. <laughs> I love celebrity gossip. I Like if you go on my Instagram explore, <laughs> it's just Drake. <laughs> Everything Drake. She's a designer for Yeezy. Oh, that's cool. She works at his company. I mean the job title, not the whole thing. Uh -oh. <laughs> I only like, like, rap gossip, though. That's the only gossip I subscribe to. If it's not in Australia, then yeah. What do you mean? Australian gossip I'm not here for. Oh, you only like knowing about local gossip. No, no, no. I only like knowing about overseas gossip. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Aussie gossip is just, it feels too high school. It feels too close to home. True. So that's why I just like listening to like American gossip or yeah. I don't know. I mean, like with celebrity gossip, it's just more interesting like <laughs> yeah. than what it would ever be for like local. <laughs> Her name is Bianca Sensori. Oh, wow. Okay. I have some research to do. <laughs> I'm starting high school next week. Any tips would really help. Gab, tips for high school. Do and be who you want to be. There you go. Because, and this is so cliche, but it's so true. And you might listen to me and be like, whatever, Alessia. Because you might hear it a hundred times and be like, oh, it's just adults always saying that, but do it. Because people don't care as much as what you think that they care. Like if you make a mistake or if you get embarrassed by something, you might be like, oh, my God, that's so embarrassing. People won't remember it. No. They don't care enough to remember. So do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Because in six weeks, in two months, in five years, no one's going to care. True. You're only once, once you're left finished, with you. Yeah, once you finish school, like everyone goes on, lives separate lives. Mm. It's hard to believe and it's hard to imagine it when you're at school, but you don't talk to like 95% of the people that you went to school with. Yeah. Um, I would probably say 
stay curious with what you learn. Mm. Don't like pigeonhole yourself, you know, like select electives that you're interested in and don't be too serious. At, like don't put too much pressure on yourself to like know what your path has to be. Yeah. You know? I did a whole different range of electives at school. I did everything from woodwork to cooking to maths to business. Mm. Yeah, use school as a way to explore your yeah. interests. It That does become hard when you want to do something specific, like when you get into uni because you would have needed to do specific well, yeah, electives you- that will help, that will benefit you. But bloody, Once you there's get- so many different ways to get into university. It's, I don't know. Yeah. I think if you're starting high school now, mm. don't do school for university. University may not be needed for do, a lot of like the year seven starting now. Yeah. Because just the education system will change, surely. Hopefully. It has to to keep up. But unless you want to be a doctor or something, then you need your uni degree. But if you want to be in marketing, you want to be in media, you don't need to go to uni. Mm. Beck says, don't wish it away because it goes incredibly fast and you'll miss it. Mm. That's true. Danica followed the coast. Thank you, Danica. Where do you get your tattoo ideas from? Oh, I haven't had a tattoo in like three years. Um, previously, I just used to get them just off Pinterest. Mm -hmm. I'd just research like what I wanted and then things would come up and then I'd think, okay, how can I make this more me? And then, yeah. yeah. People are asking for tips about how to come out. We've actually done a video on this, but I don't know, is it in our recent videos or is that an old video? It's in a playlist, but. On how to come out? Yeah. Oh, no. no. And our, only our coming out stories. Okay, we need to do a video on how to come out again because our old, our other one's old. Three, three tips. First one, prioritize your safety. If it's not safe for you to come out, then it's probably best not to. Yeah. Um, and then two, have a support person. So someone who is in your vicinity, if that's like a sporting coach, if it's a teacher, If it's like, Mm. I don't know, someone in your life who can support you, who you know is an ally, they might wear a rainbow lanyard. They might have a little rainbow um, badge. badge. Speak to them about it and open up to them because it's probably safe to do so. They might be queer themselves. Yeah. So, yeah, have someone on your side. And then what was the third one? I remember we had three tips. Safety, support person. I would just say do it. There's no rush. Yeah, there's no rush. Like, do it when you're ready. Do it when you're ready. Uh, even if you've ticked off the safety and the support person, you can change your mind and wait longer. Mm. And s- sexuality is fluid. So you might be, you know, you might be bisexual and then you realise, no, I'm lesbian or, you know, it changes. So don't mm. be too stressed out about it. Just do it when you're ready. Yeah. All right, how are we going to do this? Because I don't want to just put all of the sauce in, but maybe we should mix. Put those in there. Mix yeah. the sauce in. Yeah. Hey, Kiralee, how are you? Hello. Do you both have a romantic date idea for us Melbourne peeps? Um, there is actually something really cool. They should still do it. Taz and I did it for my birthday last year. It's like a blindfolded dinner. I don't know. Would you call that romantic? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. I don't know if it's like heavily romantic, but it is a lot of fun. You don't look at each other. It's an interesting experience. Like I wouldn't do it on a first date. No, don't do it for a first date. But if you've been with your partner for a while. And you want like something fun. It's different. Yeah. If you just looked up a blindfolded dinner in Melbourne, it should come up. I don't remember what the place was called, but it was a lot of fun. We're actually going to be doing a lot of date night content this year. So hit the follow button. If you have a partner and you want to get some ideas, you'll Mm. see that on our feed soon. Yeah. Beck says, it's crazy to think you guys wouldn't be on for over an hour sometimes. What does, what I don't understand. What? What was that in reference to Beck? 
I can't remember what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your rings from? So this ring's from Sarah and Sebastian. And then this one my dad gave to my mum when they were young. And my mum gave it to me for my 16th. So I'm not really too sure where it's from. Oh, Beck says, like, you wouldn't be live yet. No, we wouldn't be live for another hour. Oh, yeah. How crazy is that? But I'm enjoying this early live. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's an arcade place similar to Strike somewhere in the city. Cute date vibes. There you go. There's another one. Jessica says, I'm cooking tonight. What are you cooking tonight? There's, like roof in. there's rooftop cinemas that you can go to. They play like old oh, movies. There's that cinema in the Botanical Gardens. Yeah, the outdoor cinema. The outdoor cinema. That's a good time. That's cute. That is cute. Oh, my God. Why don't we do these? <laughs> That dinner in the dark is dining in the dark. Yeah. Yes, that's what it call. That's what it's called. Thank you, Jen. Great time for me because I can cook and eat at this time. Okay, that's good to know. But however, there's less people on. But we'll suss it. We'll suss it. Curly says, "Go to the gym for a date." Mm. <laughs> that's my. It's kind not of really oh, my oh, type. Of what rock climbing. It's not there's, romantic. There is this big rock climbing wall in the middle of the city, like where RMIT is. And it's like you can see the outside of the city while you're climbing. Yeah, but that's not romantic, Taz. Yeah, it is. Oh, Jessica's having meatballs for dinner. Yum. And Olivia says, I'm getting a slushie from KFC. Damn. Let me know how it tastes, what one you end up getting. Beck says, what about pottery class? That True. Cute. That would be cute. I'd do a pottery class. Um, and Kirli says skydive date. Any takers? <laughs> You're on your own there, mate. Yeah, can't <laughs> help you with that one. Riley says, I'm having rice paper rolls. That sounds delicious. Can you get a bowl out? Can you make me? <laughs> just kidding, baby. I'm just joking. All right, I'm going to move everyone over to the table. Careful. So then Taz can bring us dinner. I love being spoiled. <laughs> oh, Have you got cheese? No. Mm -hmm. We need to get the parmesan out. I'll get some for you. Thanks, baby. And can you bring salt over too? Yeah. All righty. Let's see if this works better, shall we? There we go. It's a little bit lower than usual, but I'll take it. There we go. All right, perfect. Everyone said hello, Duds. Dudley. He's looking at the ball. Come here. Come here. He's not having it. Guys, I just did a 25 minute hit class and it felt like eternity. Damn. I've only done that once. It's rough. But to be fair, 25 minutes is ideal. Do you know what I mean? Like, you got it over and done with. Guys, I love OJ. I, I have too much. Fun. Could skull this down. <laughs> so easy. A cold, fresh OJ. Damn. Look how much you're having. That's my second cup too. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I need I need the olives. Well, you didn't say that. Sorry. Sorry. No, this is the wrong cheese. Oh, I didn't know there was a right cheese. Why 
Why do you call it OJ? It's shortened for orange juice. Did you guys know that there's calcium in leafy greens? I learned that yesterday from Google. Because <laughs> I was wondering how I get calcium in my diet. So now... Look at that! Oh, the olives. Yummy! Oh. Okay. Why is our spinach always soggy? Guys, I love olives. Especially these ones. There's something about them. I used to hate them. But your taste must have changed. Yeah, ta it, my taste changed when I, mm, probably when I was about 19, 20. Mm. Oh, I can't put that back in now. I've just mixed it. Oh, where's chili? I'll get it. All right, chili. Oh, what? It's moving. <gasps> Why is it moving? I don't know. Guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bizarre. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Curly's like exposed. <laughs> It's like, where are we going? Okay, cool. So we have um, chili, olives. I want cheese. Did you get your parmesan? I swear to God, I brought it over, but I must have. Snap name is Taz Alessia Dash Snap. Mm. Oh. Look, a bit much, but it's fine. I feel like Lessie give me using the chili, not even giving it to Taz. It's <laughs> fine. She got it in the end. All right. Should you get a gimbal? Mm, we always use this gimbal, but it's never turned on. <laughs> and then today it turned on. Taz, do you like spicy noodles? Or oh, I don't know. I'm not too good with spice. I like a little bit of spice, but not too much. Mm. But yes, with noodles, yum. What sauce did you make? It's called Max's Secret Sauce. Best part. Fun. Relax. I don't know. Something's. I know. I when the OJ hits my tongue, it's just it's gone. You can just there. knock it back. <laughs> Lily says, I can eat anything and everything, but the only thing I can't is lasagna. Mm. Really? This is like, just let a girl drink. Nah, she's doing me a favor, guys, because I can get sick if I have too much fruit juice. <laughs> just take it slow. She's not saying it for no reason. <laughs> Do you like me growing? Yeah. Love me growing. Mm. Christina says apple juice for the win. Guys, mm. put an apple emoji if your favorite juice is apple juice. Put an orange emoji if your favorite juice is orange juice. Apple is good. Mm. Crystal says, what brand of vegan garlic bread is that? It's just Cole's brand. Mm -hmm. Cole's home brand. Hey, Jade. Hey, Jade. How you going? Oh, I've got sauce on me. I'm seeing a very even amount. Mm. <laughs> and it says, oh, you tanned. I did. Shock, mm -hmm. I know. She tanned. Opinion on dumplings. Love, had some for lunch. Love. I love dumplings. <laughs> They're the best. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, really, Christina? I don't mind that. Mm. It's I, can't, I don't know the name of it. I don't know really which one. It is a bit concentrated tasting, isn't it? Mm. What was the place you guys stayed at in Adelaide? Sofitel. I'm going to put this in the microwave. <laughs> it's too cold. I need it like burning hot. Uh-huh. Someone just said AJ for the win. Why do we say OJ but we never really say AJ? <laughs> what the hell? I've never said AJ in my life. Same. Oh, well done, Alicia. Ticking, ticking those goals off early. Amazing. Hey, Nish, what's up? How you going? <laughs> oh, I love Kiralee's drink bottle. Mm. <laughs> I knew I'm going to ignore you now. <laughs> I'm good, Jade. How are you? How do I eat? God, <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> no, Christine says, I love how you eat, Taz. It's dead set goals. How do you eat? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> I accidentally tanned today while I was wearing my mesh gym chop. <laughs> so now I have spotty shoulders. <laughs> oh, no. Jade's good. This is good. Tazzy, what's up, bro? Not much, bro. Christina says, Beck, explain it. Grat says, Sup, Taz. Sup. Hmm. Taz stuffs her mouth till he says, Yeah. Just trying to eat as fast as I can, basically. <laughs> hey, Cass. We're doing good. How are you? And he's like, Grr. <laughs> Not the Grr. <laughs> Oh, someone says, Josie says, you make me excited for the small things in a relationship like cooking and enjoying a meal together. Those are the best moments. Yeah, but they're what make up, like the little moments make up the whole relationship. Mm. Taz eats like no one's watching. It's real and a vibe. We all eat like that, let's be honest. I know, I because I can't see your faces. <laughs> It's like no one's watching, <laughs> but there are 176 people. <laughs> like if I could see your faces, I probably would eat different. Hmm. Would you? N no, this uh, is how I eat. I'm pretty sure this is how I eat. You guys are end game. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <feeling rough>. mm. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're going to be here for a long time. <laughs> They're back at it again eating. Yes, love it. Monday night, dinner, tea with Tanda. We're always going to be eating. We on pretty Monday. much, our live streams consist of us eating, gaming, or me doing my makeup. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Beck's going to be like, gaming? When? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm like more obsessed with garlic bread than ever before lately. Yeah. It's my new obsession. Jess says, do you still do pottery? Yeah, I've made some cups just from hand. I don't have the wheel anymore, um, but I just need to organize a date that I can take them to go get fired and then I'll need to buy some glaze to glaze them and then I'll need to fire them again. So I'm just waiting. It's like I have to spread the experience part of me out now because I don't have all the tools just in the backyard, you know, mm. so it makes it a bit harder. <laughs> what happened to the wheel? Oh, I only hired it out. I didn't buy it. They're very expensive to buy. 
And right now my priority is to save money so I can move out with Taz. And so I'll buy a wheel eventually, but I just can't do it right now. How do you cope with meals when one of you is vegan? You just make the main part of the meal vegan, for example, the sauce or whatever. Mm. And then you can do like the meat in just a different dish and add it to the sauce in your own plate. Yeah. If you really wanted it. Um, but some partners are like, if you're cooking, they're like, I'll eat whatever. Mm. Um, Taylor says, oh, I saw you guys. Could not believe my eyes. <laughs> Guys, you have to come up and say hello when you see us, please. And then she said, we love saying hello. What do you do if what you're doing is emotionally draining, mm -hmm. but you're scared to quit? I would say apply for other jobs until you get something. Mm. And that will make you less scared to quit. Mm. But you got to protect your health. Like if mm. you're getting drained every single day, finishing work, what is the point of earning money what mm. is the point of anything like you, you need have to prioritize to care of you yeah and I know it's easier said than done and it's hard to get jobs and things like that but mm. you need to go out oh, yeah go out and start looking again for jobs Kelly says Emily LMA you guys ran up to me so am I the famous one if you guys come here enough we'll recognize the faces <laughs> yeah but you're that girl from Aldi yeah <laughs> Oh, I can't really. I recognize her. That's funny. My mum would love what you do with Pottery Oh, It is cool to watch, isn't it? Did your mum do it? I'm just a barely a beginner. I have a lot to learn, which I would like to learn. But, yeah, I have to pace myself. Like, I'm not... If I could have everything at my fingertips straight away, I would. Mm. But financially, that's just not an option. And I don't really have the time to be going into a studio and working on it and all that sort of jazz. So it's very much just a hobby, Yeah, which will take time. Isn't there a pottery, pottery event coming up? It is coming up this year. We haven't set a date for it. But when we do, it won't be Alessia on the wheel. Mm. It will be all of us. We're going to get you guys out some pottery, some, some pottery kits, some clay, some at home kits, some at home kits. And all you need is a little bit of space, like a placemat or something to, or, to do it on. Yeah. Newspaper or something. And we'll make like mugs together. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get, pardon me, if you want to get yours fired, we'll mm -hmm. let you know what like places are close by to your state and town. And maybe we can all have like Team Tanda mugs or something cute. Mm -hmm. You can make whatever you want, but yeah. Congrats with your media exposure with the youth survey newspaper article. Oh, thank thank you. you. That was um that was our first newspaper thing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Have you ever dealt with any gut issues? Yes. Bad. Mm. I don't know if I'll ever talk about them online. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a bit it's a bit much. But, yes. Mm. I think a lot of people do. Mm. Um, oh, that sucks, Cass. I'm going to start a... Guys, tend to meet up. How much notice are we getting? Ooh. True. So we can plan. So planning money and flights. Like three months? Mm. Three months notice? I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be closer to November. Mm. Just because December is going to be too expensive, too busy. Mm. Um, we still want it to be like kind of good weather. We don't want it to be in the midst of winter mm. where everyone will be like staying at home. And we want it to be after the 24-hour stream. Mm. Because after the 24-hour stream, I feel like the team like really gets to know each other on a different level. Mm. So it would be cool to like have that maybe – two weeks after the 24-hour stream or something mm. so you guys can meet each other. But we will give you plenty of notice so you can organise flights. Um, which state are you going to do the meetup? That's still to decide. We're going to ask – we're going to put in voting power, which will play a role uh, as it gets closer. But at the end of the day, it just depends on 
like realistically what happens for example if if we have to do every single bit of it mm. it's probably going to be in melbourne but if a brand is like hey we have like this venue we'd love to jump on board we can like help you we're in queensland we might be like okay sweet like does that make sense for the team and mm. like let's do it so it it does depend but we're going to ask uh the teammates because there's actually more people that follow us in Sydney and Brisbane than in Melbourne. Yeah. So we will see. Whew. Classy really thinks she isn't being watched by 170 people scraping <laughs> off with their fingers. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too comfortable at this point. <laughs> I need friends in every state for accommodation. <laughs> Yeah. It would be cool. One day, you know, enough of you guys will know each other. You might be able to get an Airbnb together, mm. stay together, you know, make a weekend of it. <laughs> Carely. <laughs> My tongue's burning from that chili. It's hot. Do I want more? No, nah, not really. I'm having cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. Yes. Mm-hmm. My lips are burning. Do I still have my cheesecake? I do. Mm. You want yours, Bobby? Yeah. I can go and cut it. Hey, Beck, what's up? Say hi to your friends if they're still there from us. Jade says, I don't know either of you guys, but I love you. <laughs> Jade, we love you. <laughs> here you go. What? I'm just meant to eat it from here. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Just have a little piecey. <laughs> Larissa must have filled you in that I have friends over. Yes. Don't be precious, Taz. Kiralee, can you imagine the judgment I would get if I just start eating the cheesecake from the platter itself? You didn't care when you were eating dinner. <laughs> it's, it's like um, a scene on like Matilda or something. <laughs> I'm putting it in a plate. Beck says, Kiralee and I have such similar bands. That's true. When we, because we got to, um, Bants, like banter. We got to meet Kiralee on Saturday, guys. It's so nice. Do you know what's so nice? I know exactly what you're going to say. Everyone is the same yeah. as what they are online. Yeah. So far. That is nice. Like so far, no one that's a part of the team has been different online than what they are in person. I think we all spend too much time together. <laughs> Like you can't hide mm. <laughs> your true self. It will just come out. Mm. Yum. Same goes for you two as well. Oh, okay, mm. I'm glad. We, oh, I'm you glad. guys, I mean, we're pretty unfiltered. <laughs> Especially when we eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna. The best. Loves it. Well, it says, damn, I was trying to come to the rest of the You owe me five Pride Wednesdays. <laughs> Beck, I'll make it all up to you with Battlefield Sessions. No! Please, for the love of God. I'll do it. Just because you asked. <laughs> mm, I'm so full. <laughs> Continues. I have to. I have to finish it. What flavor is the cheesecake? It's like a blueberry. It's just one from Coles. It's awesome. I freaking love cheesecake. No, 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 no battlefield. <laughs> battlefield doesn't count. Alicia says, yeah, but you have to get it to load first. <laughs> Guys, so, that's in the past. Man, how quickly do you eat dessert after dinner? Mm. 
Oh, it's quick. just no. Nah, you might as well get all the food down in one hit, you know. <laughs> yeah, I want to start my fast at seven. <laughs> I'm on a time crunch. <laughs> this cheesecake vegan. Purely, this cheesecake is. Stop trying to frame me. <laughs> I only have one more bite <laughs> and I feel sad about it. It's that good. It's so good, Taz. Shut up. I don't want to hear about it. Oh my God. It's so yummy. I hate you. Alessia's eating cheesecake. But real cheesecake. It's from an upcoming video. Yeah. You guys will soon see. It's lit. Mm. Can't beat it, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine being vegan. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Can't relate. Hard enough. Must suck. Yeah. You guys, everyone loves Lord of the Fries. Oh, my yeah. God. You know, I'm being vegan now. Guys, did anyone know that Lord of the Fries was completely vegan? Because I did not know. That is their key selling point. Well, I didn't know that. Larissa didn't know it either. What? Maybe And Tilly didn't know it either. Maybe it's just known in vegan circles. <laughs> I love the videos of you ranking food. <laughs> Niche, we're loving doing it. Yeah. We love it. We have our um, bubble tea video coming up soon. We ordered, um, like, the people who commented their bubble tea mm. orders and ranked them. It was an interesting experience, to say the least. Yeah, you guys have interesting tastes. <laughs> mm. Don't be offended if I gag. <laughs> you did gag. <laughs> At least if you did, I didn't cut it in. <laughs> Thank you for the roses. No, no, no. I knew it was vegan. I said Ugh. not for me loving it. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Bex says, I only found out when I was looking at the franchise costs for it, but before that, I didn't. Wow. Damn. I thought I thought that's, like, would that survive if it didn't have a different selling point? We've already got McDonald's and Hungry Jack's and, you know. Well, unless you're buying into that franchise, then... <clears throat> Pardon me. Beck says, you didn't try mine. That's why you didn't like them. True, Beck, what's your order? That's okay. I'm sure we'll be doing more of these if this does well. Niche says, I never tried bubble tea, but I feel like I would choke. It was expensive. It's... So I, I'm scared if this does well because then we'll do it again. Yeah, guys. But the thing is, if we do it again, we have to go in and buy it because like we Uber eats it. We'll get the small one, but yeah. Uber Eats didn't allow me to get the small one. It only allowed me to get the big ones, yeah, which no. was so annoying. Yeah. We were like, why is this so expensive? And then it got here and we were like, whoa, they're huge. <laughs> Tropical, half sugar, half ice, mango popping pearls. I feel like we, we had one. Though. We had one almost exactly like that. It was tropical. I don't know if it was half sugar and half mm. ice. Um, and it had, I think it had grape. And lychee jelly in it. Oh, that is different. It is different. I'll, I'll give mm. you that back, so was... <laughs> We had a tropical and a mango one, though. Yeah. Mm. Uber Eats adds extra onto the price, mm. too. Yeah, Jen, that's 100% true. Oh, Beck says, it had jelly and popping pearls. Too much. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> like, I thought... The first time when we tried it, that it was a lot. People's orders. Intense. They're hectic. They are hectic. Like, it's a sensory overload. <laughs> You're like, it's the same. Lists are completely different. <laughs> that was like, wait, that was like when we were on our train ride home. <laughs> That's like when we were on our train ride home. Beck and Kira Lee will probably get a crackle out of this. Um, Beck McColl, the lovely person who's also in the chat, goes to us, you have to try these chips, right? <laughs> She's like... <laughs> They're New Zealand chips. 
there's these New Zealand chips and the texture of them is exactly like cheese balls, but it's not like cheese balls because it's a little bit harder. So we said, okay. And she said, and they're like cheese balls, like, but they're not round like cheese balls. They're rectangle. I said, okay, so they're not like cheese balls at all. What does that taste and like? Then I can't remember. I can't remember. And then she said, oh, it's like that spelling. Oh, I can't remember what it I can't remember what it was. I can't remember the last one. But she listed three things that she said was exactly the same as cheese. It's balls. like a ball, but it's not round. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's like a ball, but it's not round. Okay, so it's not a and ball. It's, it's not soft like a cheese ball. No, it's got the it's texture of a cheese ball, but it's not because it's hard. <laughs> It tastes spicy like a tomato, but it's not spicy. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's I it. can't. I can't. It was so funny. I couldn't deal. People are saying to try gong cha. Yes. We have one of those in the house, don't we? Yeah, I'm happy to try gong cha. We were thinking of comparing the different franchises, mm. seeing who does the best bubble tea. Andrew says, Lesia, you look a little sunburnt. Oh, my God. She does. Okay. So this is possibly one of the best comments I could ever get. One, I don't tan in the sun. I don't go in the sun. I've recently just self-tanned. I have not gone in the sun. I'm not sunburnt. I don't promote tanning in the sun or anything like that. I face tanned. So you're telling me it looks real. Yeah. When Before we got on the stream, she was just <laughs> sitting on the bed and I was like, why do you look burnt? And she was like, it's the tan. Okay. <laughs> Beck says, thanks for sharing that with 160 people, Lessie. Really appreciate that one. Oh, uh, Beck, it was just so funny. It's the best. Oh. Tee-hee. <laughs> <laughs> Carolee. Stop. I had long pants and a long sleeve on. Don't okay. talk about the pants. You're no. just setting yourself up now. <laughs> you just set yourself up for that one. Hey, buddy. Stop scratching my arm. I love your hair. It looks so smooth and straight. You did actually get it quite straight this, this oh, time. I literally just brushed over mm. it. I haven't even strained it properly. Mm. This is like I can talk about. <laughs> you got the mark on your black pants still, Lessie? No, They're let me wash. actually tell you a story. So when we got home, Alessia got changed into pajamas and I can't remember left you don't know it <laughs> and you left your those pants just on the ground yeah i picked them up and put them in the wash yeah. because i couldn't stand the embarrassment of you wearing them another time because <laughs> you would have woke up the next day picked them up <laughs> off the floor oh yeah chuck them on no 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 <coughs> so i put them in the wash I'm not a bag, but Jade, the Kiwi, usually actually understood the description and guessed the chips. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Good on you, Jade. That's funny. Any other New Zealanders know what we were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the pants? Mia says, what happened to the pants? Okay, guys, I'll tell you the story. Thanks, Four Andrew. days ago? Maybe three days ago. Last Friday. Taz and I go into the city because we need to film something. So we're filming there and then we're like, oh, let's get something to eat. So we get something to eat and we sit down. And I look down at my ankle and there was bird poo on my black pants. It was like this white dot, right? Bird poo on my pants. And I was like, oh, my God, are you serious? Like, must be good luck, whatever. Then I come home. I am notorious for not putting my washing in the washing basket. This is a clear example of that when it needs to be, right? I leave it on the floor or I leave it to the side because I think I might wear that again. So I'd come home, I'd forgotten about the bird poo on my pants and so I put them to the side. <laughs> anyway, the following day, I'm looking for an outfit to wear because we're going to Fed the, live. Fed, the Fed Live event. And I'm like, okay, what am I gonna wear? And I said, I know I can't, I can't show my arms and I can't show my legs because my tan's really patchy. So I grabbed the black pants with the bird poo on them and I put them on again, forgetting that there's bird poo on them. And I wear a white long sleeve. And then we go to the Fed Live event. 
and Kiralee in the chat. It was and Larissa. It was Larissa in the chat, sorry. Walk up to us um, to say hello. And, and they recognized because I put it on our story you that I had the bird poo pants on. And they're like, why are you wearing those pants? <laughs> I've heard of a washing machine. Beck goes, personally, I just think it was a fashion choice. Oh, for sure. Interesting choice. I don't think sitting, I didn't sit in it. I don't know how I got it because it was on the ankle of the pants. So I don't think I sat in it, but yeah. Guys, I want churros, but I can't. But I want it, but I can't. Why can't you? Yeah, why can't you? That's the question. We're going to encourage you to get it. Dudley, cut it out. It's enough. Let them play. This is bold fashion choice. <laughs> it was a fashion choice because it made a pretty big statement. Mm. It really said, learn to put your washing in the washing yeah. basket. <laughs> I'm glad they got to see that in action. <laughs> so they know that it's true. I'm trying to be a healthy girl. Oh, I promote that. I'm doing I well know. with my Maccas and you guys haven't told me to get it. So Yeah. Hold off. Have something else that's going to satisfy the need, you know? Yeah. Just push through. You got this. Uh, but maybe you could set like a, like, oh, I'll I'll get them on the weekend or something. Like, delay it if you're craving it and you're allowed. Yeah. Or reward, just use it as a reward for yourself. Good idea. You know? Like, if you go to the gym, maybe that night you have it. Mm. Because you're like, mm -hmm. you know, Christina says, good idea. Yeah, I like that. Because then you can feel good about eating it. Yeah. And That's... you're still a healthy gal. We can treat. That's right. We like mm. that. Tilly says, 30 minutes till the bachelor. Oh. Can someone tell me why there's three men this year? I don't understand what the concept is. Alessia, what did you get from Maccas? I haven't gotten Maccas in 23 or 24 days, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, but I don't have any cravings for it. I'm back at the gym from next week. Mm. Why next week? Why not this week? Nish says, how do you feel about not having Maccas, Alessia? I feel like it would get less hard if it is hard. To be honest, I think... Um, because I set it in my mind, it's I know. I, it's just easy now. It's very strong-willed. Like, it was like, because it was the first day of the year, it was it's easy to monitor. Whereas, like, mm. if I did it in some weird time, I wouldn't know how long I've been doing it for, and then I'd be like, oh, whatever. Mm. But because I know and I set it in my mind, mm. I just haven't had the craving for it. It's been quite easy. Yeah, I had it. The real challenge will be when I'm hungover or coming back home from a night out. But even then, I think I'll be fine. You'll be, yeah, it, that will be like around December mm. and you'll be so close to the end. You just got to push through. Yeah. Um, the new Mac is Lord of the Fries from what, my, from what I've heard from my sources. Yeah, she does like it. It's possible. We don't have one near us. No, we don't have one near us, so it's not like I can... <laughs> um, that's awesome, Beck and Christina. You're going back. Love that. I've been training a lot as well and I'm loving it. Like I forgot <laughs> what it's like to train regularly and I just feel so much better for it. I'm happy for you, bub. Thanks. Kirli says drunk and hungover Maccas doesn't count. Okay. It does. That's good to know. It no. definitely <laughs> counts. <laughs> Especially, you know when it counts, Kirli? <laughs> when you say you're vegan... And then you eat a whole non-vegan meal when you're hungover or drunk. <laughs> she was telling me the story. <laughs> so, yes, it counts. Larissa is making us join the gym on Thursday. Hell yes, guys. Ooh, oh, my God. Maybe we should get another fit. challenge going in the app since everyone's yeah, getting back into it. it. I mean, I'm not, but I'm, I will, maybe. Um been training as well taz last week went four days let's see if i can do five this week you Anna, this. hell yes that's amazing four days is still really great yeah that's phenomenal <laughs> i haven't gone at all 
Kaylee's like, don't know what you're talking about, Taz. <laughs> I've never had Lord of the Fries. What do they sell? It's it's all vegan. It's burgers, vegan McDonald's. chips, hot dogs. Everything's vegan. Tilly says, I have breaking news, girls. I have Lord of the Fries near me. Tilly, you're laughing. Breaking news. Jen's like, Jim, who's that? <laughs> Did you relate to that one? Yeah. I've been 13 times in the last two weeks. Oh, that's really impressive, actually. That's every day apart from one. No. Wow. How- no, that's an extra. That's twice in one day. No. There's 14 oh, days in I two always weeks. do this. <laughs> right. I've done this before, yeah? Yeah. I always think that there's six days in a week. <laughs> so when Alessia tells me things, I'm like, no, that's like, doesn't compute and she's like there's seven days in a week (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh maths is not your strong point i i can't explain it guys it's fine the simple things don't compute (laughs) i don't have enough space in the brain (laughs) I train boxing six days a week. It feels great after a breakup. Oh, my God. Working out after a breakup is the best. Highly recommend. Definitely get some gloves. Make sure you have a gym with a punching bag. Mm. It's great. You should know how many days there are in a week. I know. I know. I've had 28 years of, of it. But I don't know. Six days in a week just sounds normal to me. You're eating garlic bread after the cheesecake? What's wrong with that? Hey, Kate. (laughs) Hey, Kate. Kelly says, Taz doesn't count Sundays. (laughs) Yeah, I'm obviously skipping a day. Does the week start on a Sunday or a Monday? I switch. Currently, it starts on a Monday. When I worked for my other job, it started on a Sunday. Why? Wow. It's just how we calculated hours for the week. So mm. just saw it like that. Oh, no. Starts on a Monday, 100% mm. for me. But this is now starts on a Sunday. What? Why? Yeah, Sunday is weekend, so it has to start on a Monday. My girl eating it after cheesecake. <laughs> we might be getting foster kittens. Oh, love that. Starts on Sunday, Sunday being Sabbath, and Monday being the first work day. Hmm. But if it's still the there, first like- work day, you're putting the word work in front of it. It's the first day. Mm. How is it on our phones? I think it goes Sunday, Monday. Oh my gosh! Google no, but Calendar. Look, yeah, the Google Calendar goes Sunday, Monday. What does Apple Calendar do? Goes Monday, Tuesday. Damn. Everywhere's different. It's open to interpretation. I think it's just how I grew up, and I usually have Saturdays off. Yeah, mm. that's fair. Historically <laughs> speaking, <laughs> Sunday is the first. Day. Okay, now you're bringing up the history. She's bringing in the facts. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday is a new favorite day. Is it because of Wide Wednesday? <laughs> mm. Wait, what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I knew. I knew. That's why I, I gave knew. you a dirty look. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. My layers tonight have made me look like I cut my hair. I'm kind of considering cutting mm, it now. It's that cute. feels like when you start getting your routine back together, like when you go to bed. Mm. Interesting. Mm. I see it as like sun, like when we packed up on a Sunday and it was just like a nice end to the week. Yeah, that's what I think. And too. I'll deal with everything next week, Monday. Yeah, because if I thought of that at the start of the week, oh, why would I want to do stuff at the start of the week? It's gonna I want to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so mind-boggling. Time is not even real. (laughs) Um, Should we post 
the TikTok soon because if everyone's going to go and watch The Bachelor. Oh, true. Post it now. Hey. Okay. All right. And we're going to jump off as well because I'm the falling. Bachelor. We're going to do the we got to do the dishes. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for coming on. Also, we're just about to post a video, so go and check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Have a great night. Sending you all love. Will we be on tomorrow? No, we've got a, we've got something on tomorrow. Do we? Yeah, we've got the dinner. The baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a Alrighty. dinner. Alrighty. Mwah. Bye, team. Go Bye. and check out the new video. Let's go. New video. Let's go. Love you. Bye. It's 76%. It's just loading. It's just loading. It's just Guys. loading. It's just loading. Guys, it's just loading. It's just loading. All right. We're getting off now. It'll be up in one minute. Just refresh. It's on 80%. All right. Just stick with us. Beck says, are we getting a wide Wednesday? Yes. Mm-hmm. Finally. Finally. First one of the year. First one of the year. It's only the end of the first month. Maybe we'll finish it takes two. I think Finally. We'll it takes two. 96%, guys. All right. Go and check it out. Mwah. Have a great night, team. It's up. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Happy Monday. See you. Bye.